Hello my fellow teabags, Sinrick77 coming at you today and I'm doing a quick uh, little uh, VR for Dave Matic and Onicus. and uh, to be perfectly honest, bruh, uh, really digging this contest man. Uh, now for any contest we know that there are rules and uh Forgive the sniffles, I'm sick, so, uh, here we go. What knives and at what price point would you like to see reviewed on the Dave Maddox One channel? Uh, whatever you want to review, bro, uh, I watch no matter what. I don't always comment, I always do like though, and I always do watch. Uh, if you want to get up into higher end knives, say like, uh, you know, militaries and, uh, you know, the higher end spider codes and sabenzas and uh, stuff like that, go for it. I personally, uh, I wouldn't mind any, any of those knives, but uh, for the price point that I pay for them, they better be able to tear apart a tank, plain and simple, or they're junk. I don't care what anybody says. If you're going to spend 500 bucks on a knife, that knife should be able to take apart a tank. Plain and simple. Because you can get knives like this one. See how thick that bad memory jammy is? That's not even 100 bucks. And I could tear apart a car with this. Uh, I could pry apart a car with this. Plain and simple. So, when it comes to value point, do not care. That's whatever you want to review, bro. And uh, I dig that. Rule number two is uh, what would you prefer to see on Onikus' channel? Knife related videos, paracord tutorials, gun and gun related videos, uh, crazy Cajun recipes, or all of the above. Uh, I'm going to choose all the above because, plain and simple, uh, I um, I dig channels that have uh, more than one aspect about them. Uh, it gives them, you know, layers. It gives them what? What's the word I'm looking for here? Diversity. Yeah, it gives it diversity. Because technically, gun stuff, knife stuff, and paracord stuff all fall under the uh, man category anyway. So, I think all of it would work, uh, be cool. And being a, a chef myself, hey, anything uh, about a recipe is always awesome in my book. Uh, what are... what? are your favorite CRKT knife designs new or old and what would you like to see more of in the future well I have every single CRKT I own currently sitting out uh, making sure of that oh yeah pretty much yeah that's it uh, as you can see uh, if you can't tell about what you're looking at and for those of y'all who don't already know, pay attention to my channel. <laughs> I love the CRKT Razel. Absolutely, positively love it. This one, the ringed Razel and the stubby Razel fixed blades are my American Express cards. I never leave home without these two. Or at least one of them. And uh, what I would like to see from them... A flipper model of a razel also done in a frame lock would be nice you know they kind of got close in this one you see so you got a little bitty nub right there right there Just, oh, there we go a little bitty nub and with enough little push you see but I think uh, 
a flipper model done in a frame lock with the uh, IKBS uh, system on it would be awesome. But that's just me. That's just me. Uh, and that's really it, bro. Uh, I appreciate, you know, uh, Dave, I appreciate the uh, contest. Uh, so, you know, that's awesome. I'm really digging the uh, Bad Blood folders. Uh, anything by CRKT is always awesome. Uh, you know, that's what, what can I say? What can I say? You know, everybody who watches my channel knows that I absolutely positively love my Razels. Uh, I have been dubbed the Razel King uh, on YouTube by several people. Uh, and also, I'm the only, and I do mean I've looked it up, and unless it's popped up over the last couple of days, I am the only YouTube channel that has, honestly to God, actually done a video over every single razel that CRKT puts out. Nobody else has uh, a series on them. All of them. All of them. See, I left. I left my EDC out of the day, and it's a CRKT as well. Hey, Yatsu time today, y'all. Uh, so, yep, yeah, that's that, man. Uh, gotta love a good CRKT. Gotta love a good Razel. You know, uh, I don't care what uh, particular knife designer or knife god guru that uh, CRKT joins up with. As long as they continue down the path they're on, uh, maybe, I don't know, CRKT, hint, hint, a frame lock flipper of a razel, you know. Just right there. See, look. The uh, lock system is already just just put it right there beside it. It'd be awesome. Be awesome. You know, this doesn't have a ball bearing system on it. See? See how smooth that is? Yeah. Yeah. See, all it needs is just a flipper. Just a flipper. I'll be a happy camper then. I know a couple other people that would love to have a uh, a razel flipper besides myself. I know of at least three other people that would love to have a razel flipper. Uh, we talked about just the flipper part. I'm adding on, I want it to be a frame lock. Because, uh, plain and simple, I dig the micarta, but... I uh, do not dig the fact that A, the pocket clip, the main pocket clip has been sunk in, blah, 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 blah. Y'all know, y'all know my, uh, my bitching about these. Y'all heard it on the videos. And if you haven't watched the video, y'all need to go back to them. They're old, old videos, but I have the series up. So thank y'all very much for watching. Appreciate you, uh, all y'all. Uh, pretty please comment and subscribe if you have not. Keep your finger in the choil and have a good day, y'all. Bye.